C-section is important to know, and you keep reaffirming this, that it is a major surgery. And we have some risks that are associated with a C-section for mom and baby. And first, we're going to talk about the risk for mom. And can we talk a little bit about these, Dr. James? And is this something that, you, that you've seen in your own practice? Absolutely. So some of the risks associated with surgery might be infection. Uh, we do give prophylactic antibiotics, but the risk of an infection with a cesarean section is higher than with most vaginal deliveries. Postpartum hemorrhage can happen in any type of delivery, vaginal okay. or C-section, and that means delayed bleeding. Uh, but we do see a higher incidence with cesarean section. Uh, anesthetic risks, certainly with a vaginal delivery, you may not have any anesthesia, but with all C-sections, you do have anesthesia, so you can have risks associated with the epidural, the spinal, even sometimes general anesthesia. Uh, blood clots, which uh, we call DVT, deep okay. venous thrombosis, are clots that can develop in the lower part of the body, usually in the legs, and they can spread uh, and travel to the lungs, and that's called a pulmonary embolism. That can be deadly to the right. mom, and those are certainly higher uh, prevalence in women with cesarean section. And then wound infections, meaning an infection of the cesarean section scar, obviously not a risk uh, in vaginal deliveries. Uh, not very common, but there are risk factors right. like diabetics or obese women have a higher incidence of wound infection. Surgical injury, we talked about injury to the bowel, or which is the intestines, or the bladder, more common mm -hmm. with a cesarean section. And then also, uh, if you have a C-section the first time, more and more these days, that means that you're going to have a C-section in the future. So right. the more cesarean sections you have, the more potential for scar tissue adhesions, and so risks in future pregnancies. Now, we also have risks for babies as well when undergoing a C-section. Can you talk about these? Sure. So a baby who is born through C-section doesn't go through the birth canal. And part of that process of going through the birth canal is that the lungs are squeezed and mm -hmm. all that fluid that the baby's living in is kind of squeezed out. When right. you deliver through C-section, that doesn't happen. So we see a little bit more breathing problems in the newborn. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we call that TTN or transient tachypnea of the newborn. And then surgical injury means that when we're making that cut on the uh, uterus, there is a possibility, although small, uh, that that ca cut can affect the baby. And so we have to be very careful, especially in emergency situations, to avoid injuring the baby during that process.